At the age of 61, Joinal Abedin is still pedaling his rickshaw. It's hard work. He carries people, heavy goods, even animals. On a good day, he earns six dollars. Joinal's been at it for 30 years, saving literally every penny he can. He may not know how to read or write, but he certainly knows the value of a dime. Over the years, he saved half of his income. By the time he was 60, he put aside $3,000, just enough to open a small village hospital. My dad died because we couldn't afford to get him to a doctor, and the nearest hospital is two days walk. I was so angry. People here think that because we are poor, we are helpless. I wanted to prove them wrong. He left his village and came back only when he had saved enough funds to start the hospital. He quickly realized that money wasn't enough. He couldn't find a doctor willing to work for him. Doctors didn't trust me. They thought I couldn't do it. So at first I hired nurses, volunteer paramedics. After a few years and with the help of the villagers, we proved to the community that we were capable of managing a hospital. The closest medical facility is 60 kilometers away. He convinced Dr. Hussain to come and work for him. 300 people travel to this small village hospital every day just to get a chance to see a doctor. Now most of the patients here are women. I am not working here for the money. I am here because I feel needed. Joinal charges a nominal sum, enough to run the clinic. For patients who need urgent care, there's a small ward. There's also a pharmacy. He's become a local celebrity. After a national newspaper ran a story on him, anonymous donations started flooding in. Still, Joinal continues to ride his rickshaw. His daily wage may be insignificant in comparison to the donations he received, but he believes $6 a day can take you a long way. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Tanahashadia, Bangladesh.